but with the cart and the page um, so we can actually deal with some of what the items do. Um, so if we click on this, it's going to take us to our cart.html, which the only thing I've set up right now is to show our current cart, how much uh, value worth of stuff is in it, and a button back to the home page for us. Um, so we'll hop in here and we'll take a look at our cart.html. This is all the same stuff that was on the index. Um, our includes are up here, and um, like I said, just the just the links here and you know, our cart quantity and the total. Um, so from here, uh, what we actually want to do is add add our cart so that people can see what's what's in it. Um, and this is actually really simple. Uh, this these four lines of code right here are going to be all that we need to have this show what we want it to show. Um, so this div class of simple cart items is literally going to do a list of, of items and show it to us. Um, and that's really all we need to see what's in the cart. This next line right here, uh, this cart total class I created myself. Um, again, it's just for styling purposes. It doesn't have any functionality. But by adding this class of simple cart total here, it's going to actually, uh, just like it did up here, it's just going to add our total and show us um, how much we have in there. So I'm going to save this and we'll go over here and take a look at our cart. And you can see um, I purposely kept the styling in this very basic. I didn't change anything at all um, just to show you exactly what it will look like. Um, but it will go through and it will show you teal beach towel um, worth a dollar a piece. There's three of them and it's three dollars total. And then our total cart is for three dollars. And these plus and minus buttons are automatically placed in here. I can subtract to reduce that to two or, you know, bring it up or whatever. Um, or I can just click remove to completely remove that item from our cart. 